The 28 bus line runs south through Fresno into Chinatown, home base for the hardcore punk noise band Wallflower. It's information the band feels is worth passing along. Wallflower plays loud and fast and may be the most aggressive of the loose collection of artists and musicians in Chinatown's friend core scene. We caught up with the band in advance of a show it hosts Friday night at Cafe Info Shop. Hi, I'm Omar, I play guitar. I'm Karina, I do vocals. I'm Ryan, I play bass. Chris, I play drums. <laughs> much going on at the time when it comes to like punk and hardcore and stuff like that so we felt like we wanted to start something in that vein and then it was easy finding people who were into it but it was uh, difficult to find people who were dedicated or you know or wanting to put the time to be in bands it's, it's awfully difficult you know to find people who are not I guess fickle I guess to be the word um, yeah, like we do have like a straightforward uh, style, but we also like throw in a bunch of other influences. Like, um, we have a few songs that kind of go into like um, more like rock and roll kind of stuff, or even like a short psychedelic influence, but it's, it, it gets back to the you know main point. Like, it explores many different things, but then it comes back to what it is just, you know, music, part of music. Hey. You know, ever since I was a, a young teenager, I was, you know, I got into, you know, old school punk, hardcore punk. So it's always, and even though I listen to just a range of everything, it's still one of my favorite kind of genres of music to listen to and to play. So, and I think we have a bond because we're kind of all into the same things, but different things at the same time. Definitely. So. Uh, that was our first demo that we did, you recorded it almost like a year ago, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a year ago. Yeah, we just did a second press of it, we still had the first tape that we had. The original, our first demo was put out by this uh, label called Driftwood Records. They're really nice to us to put out these tapes for us. We sold out really fast and then um, there's a local label called Dark Raves, which um, they they heard that our first, was kind of, our first press of it was selling out, so they offered to do a, se a second press of it, and they did a really good job. I think Friday Course started was like two years ago. Yeah, so yeah, it's coming up in yeah. two years. Yeah, there was a show here called uh, it was happened on Leap Year. It's called the Leap Show. And there's a there's a band. There's, there's Strawberry Jam played. Rest in peace, Strawberry Jam. <laughs> like Babylon Crooks, probably Rest or not, somebody. But then it was like through that show. We realized there was like this real like kindred spirit of uh, what a lot of the bands are doing here in Chinatown. A lot of people from Chinatown were either already in bands or starting bands, playing you know just playing everywhere we could you know like. I think what it comes down to is just we're all friends. You know, we're all friends. We're all our best friends. Yeah, and we hang out all the time. All our bands sound different, but we you know, play shows together and have the time. Yeah, like um, I noticed in many different cities, like um. There's a lot of bands and there's a lot of scenes, but they're all separate because there's a lot of people. But here we kind of band together because, yeah, we're friends and it's kind of like a necessity, you know, like if anyone just divided on what I think or just trivial things like stylization or, you know, uh, genres or whatever, like we wouldn't have much. So, you know. I think we're just all trying to have fun and do something for the music community as far as taking part. And just, I think it's an outlet for all of us to get our emotions, our anger, whatever it is, out. And we encourage everyone else to do the same. Yeah, yeah star bands. bands. Yeah, we need them. <laughs> yeah, the, the, what's really cool about Fresno is that the best way to get involved is just to raise your hand. You know, there's like no pretension or anything really to be involved. Just do it.